Okay, folks, uh, first thing I'd like to do is introduce ourselves. Um, we are your hosts. This is uh, Doug Chapman. He's president and CEO of National Group Marketing. And myself, Rick Thornton, business development, National Group Marketing. First of all, you may need something to offer your clients that's a little bit different than your supplemental plans. And here it is. I'm going to ask you these questions. Are your clients always saying, I can't afford a supplemental policy? Health insurance is too high. What about when you actually go to see them, are they hoping that you replace their major med with your supplement policy? Sometimes I have clients that think that the supplements is all that they need. Um, Would you like to be the hero that can give your clients an alternative to their major med And would you like to make high advanced or earned commissions selling a different product along with your supplemental plan? Well, here we have it, folks. Let me go over this in detail. And uh, this is what we will cover in this comprehensive video. What is the value to the client with this plan? How to use this product alongside what you currently sell to enhance your sale? And what is the value to the agent when marketing this plan? Now, what are the benefits to the client? This policy is a very high indemnity plan that can be used for catastrophic events and doctor's office visits. We have double and triple indemnities built in. Why not use your current policies as one of those indemnities? And this plan can be sold year-round as a group plan and or as an individual policy. And the price is one-half the cost of a major med. Now, I'm opening up the curtain. What are the intangible benefits to the agent? Able to give clients an option to their major med uh, medical while using the agent's current products to enhance the sale able to reduce the client's total cost of coverage, thereby increasing the additional amount uh, that they can spend or save on your insurance, on your supplemental insurance. And this product will open a flood of referrals from your clients to their friends, and the agent will be paid handsomely for his or her efforts. Now, what are the policy benefits? Now, this is what we've done. We've taken a 58-year-old male, a 56-year-old female non-smoker in 75067, which is a suburb of Dallas, Texas. And we've taken the premiums and we've compared them. Now, we've got Pollock. Pollock stands for Philadelphia American Life Insurance Company. We have a $785.67 premium. Now, this premium here does include our supplemental insurance which is some other things that we'll go over in just a second. This one does not include our supplemental insurance, but it is a base premium where you can add your supplemental insurance. Now over here, if you notice, the major med is $1,218. Now I'm not gonna give you the name of the major med, by the way. Um, Network, Um, we've got a PPO network, and this major med here has an HMO network. Deductible, we have a $7,500 deductible, whereas their deductible is $7,400. We have a doctor's office visit benefit of $160 per per visit with 20 uh, visits in a calendar year. And over here, we have a copay of $50. Out of pocket, well, we don't really have an out of pocket, and I'll go to that in just a little bit. Uh, because of the way the plan works. However, uh, the out-of-pocket over here with this uh, major med is $8,150. Commissions. Now, with this plan, if you're getting advances and if you're selling all of our uh, supplemental products together in one premium, then the total commission advance on this premium is $2,828.41. However, if you're selling a base plan and you want uh, advances, then the advance is $909.43. We're over here with this major med, it's only $60.90. And uh, here's some footnotes. 
And uh, patient will not pay deductible for outpatient procedures performed under general anesthesia. And there is a $3,000 first day admittance benefit, which means this deductible here is actually about $4,500. This is based on our preferred plan or three units, and we'll show you that in just a little bit. And um, this again, I'm going to reiterate this. This is a uh, $2,884.41 for a nine-month blended advance, which is about $235.75 as earned in months 10 through 12. And then over here, if you're selling just the base, it's $909.43, and it's $101.05 with months 10 through 12. Now, let's recap the benefits of this policy. Again, we've got a $785 premium versus a $1,218 major med premium. Now, what's in it for the client? Premiums are 45% less than the major med. There's a $7,500 deductibles that apply only to inpatient stays, and there's a $3,000 admittance uh, benefit. $160 $160 benefit for doctor's office visits, and you get 20 a year. A $50,000 of critical uh, illness insurance. Now, this is where you guys come in. This is what you would not be adding to your policy. You would also not be adding this $4,000 of accident coverage uh, or $1,500 for dental coverage. I expect you to use your, sup- your supplemental insurance for that. It pays the first $800 for an emergency room. We have a large national PPO network. Plan increases annually based on age only. And plan pays multiples of the RV, RBS, or the Medicare Physician's Fee Schedule to doctors in addition to the daily room payments of $7,500 per day for ICU. Now, I'm giving you the high end right here, which is $7,500 a day for ICU, but if you're just in for sickness, it's actually $4,500 per day. Now, what's in it for the agent? It's very easy to sell. It's a quick and easy application. There's a nine-month advanced blended commission on 30% of premiums then paid monthly. Now, of course, again, this is blended, and this is using all of our supplemental plans together when you're selling that. There's a nine-month advanced commission on 20% of premium then paid monthly when you're just selling our base plan. Uh, Payday is every Tuesday and Thursday, folks, and they don't miss that. Quarterly bonuses. And free verified leads targeted to business owners based on production. And you can recruit and train agents and grow your agency. And we have company trips based on 18-month production results. So if you hit the number, you automatically go on the production trip. It's not like the first 30 top agents and that sort of thing. Everybody goes. Now, who should get this plan? Good candidates are, and keep in mind now, if you're doing a group, it is guarantee issue. So if you're not doing a group, good candidates will be healthy individuals, people on COBRA, self-employed folks, people between jobs, people with out-of-control premiums, people who are in need of a PPO because their doctor won't accept their HMO, and people in need of a lower deductible. Poor candidates women needing maternity, and you tell them that up front before you even start the conversation, people receiving a subsidy and cost sharing. Usually, if they're receiving a cost sharing, a lot of times it's going to be a lot less expensive than this product, maybe like $50 a month. People with systemic pre-existing conditions and people on costly meds. Now, Doug is going to speak a little bit about the opportunity. And one of the things Doug wanted me to remind everybody, by helping more people get what they want, you'll get what you want. Take it away, Doug. We have here Doug Chapman, president and CEO of National Group Marketing. Doug, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, Rick, thank you. I've been in the health insurance business, major medical, individual primarily, for over 35 years. Hired and trained thousands of agents and worked with virtually every major medical carrier in the country. And in 2011, even before then, 
we notice this trend of these traditional major medical policies continuously going up 10, 20, 30 percent per year while deductibles were getting larger, which means benefits are coming down. So we're paying more every year for less benefits with no change in sight. And when 2011 came out in the ACA, they cut everybody's commissions. We were forced uh, with that and the, the decrease in value of these, these po policies to look at a different business model. And that's when this policy came out. So we've been selling for 10 years. Doug, what was your success with this product? We've made, frankly, in my 35 years, in the last certainly eight to 10 years, made more money I've ever made in my life, and our agents have too. We lost a lot of agents with the ACA because you couldn't make a living. Those agents are coming back and building new homes and, and making seven, six-figure income, some of them seven-figure incomes with this product because of the, the great value, the, huge, the, the great commissions, the great rate stability, and more importantly, the value to the client. They're building clients and, and making great money doing it. You have mentioned the value proposition several times. What is it that you believe to be the value proposition here? Here's the concept. These consumers do not need to be paying tens of thousands of dollars a year in premiums and deductibles and co-insurance and co-pays and admission charges to have quality health care. What they need is quality health care and a means to fund it. Well, with our products, it's called a health and income protection package, a package of products uh, what pays all of their health care needs, surgeries, doctor visits, labs, x-rays, chemotherapy, you name it. But it'll we have no deductible for 95% of our claims. Unless you're hospitalized, there is no deductible. Everything is first dollar. Another, the premiums are half the cost of your lowest major medical policies. So when you cut the premiums in half, put that money back in the consumer's checking account, when you eliminate the deductible and coinsurance from 95% of the consumer's medical bills, that consumer has a $20,000 head start before they ever go to the first doctor visit. And obviously we pay doctor visits first dollar. They need great stability, which we do. The average rate increase is less than 3% a year. And the products are outstanding, much better than any traditional major medical. Okay, Doug, if the hospital charges less or if the doctor's office charges less than what the plan pays, can you give us a little scenario of how that works? Yeah, great question. This is a defined benefit plan. It is a high-end defined benefit plan. It pays a certain defined amount for any medical procedure you could possibly have. And we have double and triple indemnity benefits that many times, many times, the consumer actually gets an overpayment. That's called an excess indemnity. So this is a consumer-driven product. It's a very different business model than your traditional major medicals. The major medicals, the consumer does not care or know what anything costs because they have a deductible co-insurance to meet. They get penalized if they go out of network, so they're controlled by the major medical carriers and where they go. They always have to meet their deductible and co-insurance first for the majority of their claims. With our product, it's a consumer-driven product. It is an, we, just, we make it a consumer intelligent give them the PHCS network discounts they get instead of the major medical carriers. So as long as our consumers shop just like they do everything else in their life, which we help them shop for good rate, good, good benefits, yeah. their plan many times pays far more than the actual bill is. So if you go to a doctor visit that's traditionally $120, we pay $160 for a doctor visit with no copay. And well, the if, difference goes back to the exactly. client. Exactly. If that, if that consumer stays in network, that $120 doctor visit will be repriced down to between $60 and $70. They receive that discount at the point of service, which means they will get $100 in that scenario excess indemnity. The, the $60 or $70 will be sent Right. To now, the, they're not actually making money off the product. They're not making money off the product. They can't do that, but they can receive the excess indemnity if they become wise Because shoppers. that's a contractual amount that, is that the has contract to go out. Amount. Right. We will only send the PPO discount on contract to the doctor if it's $70, if it drops from $120 to $70, and we pay $160. 
We'll send the 70 electronically to mm. the physician and the consumer will receive whatever excess indemnity the contract pays. Right. Now, you've got an example of that. Now, I'm putting the example on the screen right now to give you some idea. Uh, Doug, can you tell us a little bit about this example we have on the screen now? Yeah, my, I had a shoulder surgery, severe shoulder injury in, in uh, Lake Tahoe, Nevada, at a, on a snow ski trip and came back and ended up having complete reconstructive surgery on my shoulder. Went here down the street here at a brand new state-of-the-art surgery center. Uh, my surgeon was nationally known surgeon for shoulders. He was with the New England Patriots for 15 years. I went to a PPO network provider, which is a state-of-the-art surgery center here in Dallas called Star Medical. And when I went in there and had my outpatient surgery done, the uh, it was repriced, as you can see, from I think it's eleven thousand nine hundred dollars. Uh, it was repriced to forty one hundred dollars. That's how huge the discounts are by owning your own PPO network, which we provide for the consumers. So when I went to this PPO network, my deductible was waived. I have no deductible since it's an outpatient surgery, and the plan was repriced, and my indemnity paid sixty seven hundred dollars more. Uh, that I received a check on my excess indemnity, which $6,700 actually more than the hospital charge. On, 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 that, on that one particular accident, what was the total you made? Because there's more checks you received yeah, I had a, that. I had the accident policy in addition to this, which was another $4,000. And I stayed in network on my MRI, and I picked up another $150 in excess indemnity on my MRI. So on this surgery with a traditional uh, major medical policy where I would have been out nine to ten thousand dollars in deductible, cost, in deductible yeah. and coinsurance, right. and the the major medical would have got the repricing, not me as the consumer. We we turned that around. I'm the consumer. I got the repricing, not the insurance carrier. So it's a consumer driven. Teaches the consumer how to shop, and the consumer can be benefited uh, by the excess indemnity. Okay, Doug, tell us a little bit about some of the uh, agents who are selling this product and how they're doing. It's real exciting, Rick. Uh, when the ACA came out and they cut everybody's commissions by 60%, 70%, there are hundreds of thousands of agents left the industry. Some of them stayed behind to sell the, the ACA, but I met several of those guys that were selling the ACA, making eighteen to 20000 a year, struggling with the major medical. When I took them over and they came on this plan and got their head wrapped around this different business model, then, then these guys are making six-figure incomes easy within a year to two years. And obviously the rate stability at less than 3% a year increase, they've grown their accounts significantly by several hundred clients a year. And the average shelf life of this product is generally seven, eight, nine years, so residuals really add up. With, uh, and the clients are very happy, they want deductibles to deal with, mm. and the great value. Right, so I, I, what you're saying is the agents are doing pretty well agents now. <laughs> are doing very well, building new homes, sending kids through college. Uh, the careers are exploding because this is, a, this is a business model that's working, great value to the consumer, and a great opportunity for the agent. Okay, Doug, is it anything else you want to comment on? Well, just this, you know, it's just a great income opportunity but more importantly uh it's a movement across america we're, we're changing lives with this with this health care product we're, we're helping a lot of people we're helping out, I an guess awful lot say, of people yeah. so we're making a lot of money no question about it but we're helping a lot of people it doesn't get any better than that helping people saving saving folks money making them good money at the same time thanks doug If you're interested in getting contracted, you will see a contract link at the very end of this video. You'll also see an email from us that will uh, have agent testimonials and a little bit more about the product.